All right, to the United States we go. Um, so. Oh, I better clear up quick. All right, yes. Here we are. Um, having some primary issues immediately, so this may be a very short recording. Yep, here we go. Um, so this mission is entirely crucial for our team. If we get the engineers, then we'll have an amazing month, or rather, we will be able to finish out the month and have an amazing second month. We don't get them, then all of our rookies die, and uh, everything is ruined forever. So the stakes are pretty high on this one. However, uh, these four completely untrained rookies with no special equipment or abilities should be just fine against even more aliens than the first mission, which we did very well at. By which I mean, one of our soldiers didn't die. Yes, so we're going to play it very, very safe. Um, we care about the engineers more than we care about the meld, so that Get means that we're definitely AO going to be the continental um... United States. Alien activity continues okay. to surge within several major. Definitely going to be playing cautious. Uh, we're back at the pit of death again. So there are some things we can do with the pit of death. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. Can of meld is pretty clearly visible. That's what we're looking for. Oh man, isn't it though? Um, let me get as many people to the greenhouse as possible, and avoid the pit of death for the moment. Heading out. All right. Um, stepping forward very, very carefully. Heading Take out. a peek around this side of the greenhouse. We see nothing, which means that it's safe to move up to the cannon belt. Um, that being said, this place kind of blows, uh, so we're not going to stay here very long. I think instead we're going to push That's forward a little bit. Okay. And everybody kind of nicely, tightly grouped together. Okay. And here, here, and here. I'm set up three. Just. I'm not entirely certain that she didn't just get a signal that uh, this melt container was going away. Alright, so we know there's four groups of sectoids here, which can mean as many as 12. I'm on it, Commander. I'm going to push up very, very slowly. Position confirmed. Make sure that everyone's together, they don't have eggs. or at least in positions where they feel like they're comfortable. And I think we need to get out of here. I'm on it, Commander. Roger. I've got my eyes on. There's something out there. I can hear sectoids. My best guess is. Alright, that's a good start. So we have two sectoids, and they're moving up on us. That's Looks like they don't have a shot that they're looking for. And it looks like I don't really need to care about them all that much. And what I think I want to do is get... Uh, if I could get Brody down there, I really would like to, but... It doesn't look like that's actually going to be one of my options. I can move him up to here. Get everybody else facing towards these aliens. So the aliens have clearly positioned themselves such that they have a really obvious weak point, actually. Um, let's see here. So that's the wounded one. I can easily hit him from here without even having to get out of my position. 
which may be a consideration, seeing as that other alien is kind of firmly planted in an area that I don't actually want to deal with him from. Doubling up grenades to kill two aliens doesn't really seem like a good idea in this particular mission. So instead we're just gonna blow the heck out of this thing. Safe as houses, and Clark earns a promotion out of it. Hucker Brody down. Um, I can move to a better position here, and that would not be terrible, but I can't. What I actually should have done was move Brody up one. But we're alright with playing it a little safe. Okay, so now we have that alien in an actual position in which... I should be somewhat worried about him. I'm mostly worried about overwatches, but no, he double moved to get there, because he can't move from there to here in one turn, which means that he's completely screwed. Alright, and Ricky Clark is a hero. This is now standard mission, less one grenade. I'm on it. Got it covered. We have three other groups of sectoids that we can expect to encounter soon. And we have no interest in taking the next cannon belt. I don't think we're alone out here. And in fact, it just shut down. So, time to get people in That. I'm rolling. Heading there now. Good to go. Once everybody's got their guns reloaded and we have enough overwatches set up, we'll start poking very, very slowly forward. Although I honestly do expect to trigger an alien pretty soon. In fact, let's see if we can do it now. I'm rolling. Got something there over we go. There. Oh, frack, we figured... We triggered two packs simultaneously, which kind of bites. Oh, actually, we only triggered one pack. So that's curious. Um, that other pack... We can't really see them, and we don't really want to see them, so what we're going to do instead is back out here. Set up over here. And get Brody hunkered down over here. Aliens aren't going to be able to come up around on this character this turn, so an overwatch will be just fine here. And since we haven't triggered these aliens, they won't move until next turn. What's making that noise? Got something over here. All right, here they come. They have been triggered now. And they actually did trigger my overwatch. Which didn't do anything, but what the heck. If I could get a grenade out there, I would definitely be targeting that tractor. But can't, so that's not what we're going to be doing. Ah! Instead, we're going to be peeking into the pit of death, looking for a flank, and finding a flank. A flank that doesn't uh, flag as a flank, but uh, a flank nonetheless. So let's see here. Is a flank from hardcover good enough? Seeing as I will be targeted by three sectoids next turn.
these aliens aren't going to push out. Like, they are all way, way, way stuck in this area, so we're actually okay just backing up to perfect safety here. Likewise, we may be able to find some solace here. Um, what we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 squares. So a sectoid wouldn't be able to flank me if I pushed up to here, but they would be able to shoot at me. And I don't really like that concept. Um, what I think I'd rather do is get behind this Heading car. Now. Once again, something of a safe haven. And push this person up to here. While Mr. Brody finds cover, let's say here. Oddly enough, this is not giving me any cover. Oh, it's on a stairwell. Freaking stairwells. Um, we should back up one. We need to deal with these guys first. These ones will typically stay inside the pit of death for as long as possible. <coughs> <clears throat> and we can do things like throw grenades into the pit of death, so that typically works out in our favor. Alright, we have an alien hiding behind half cover. Heading out. And another one in the back there. Something I'm noticing here. No, there is a pipe. Okay. I was thinking that maybe they didn't have an option for getting up the side of this building, but they do. So if I'm going to make any progress here, I'm going to have to do it from a different direction. What's up here? Oh shoot, I triggered an overwatch. That's not a good sign. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, okay. Well, that was a bad plan. So. What did we get out of it? Slightly higher chance of hitting those two aliens, and a real chance of hitting that one. A 45% chance is not really a lot. We kind of need to thin the herd pretty soon. This grenade is also going to waste at the moment. This. Throwing grenade. Okay. Didn't quite fry the aliens that I wanted to fry, but now I have a clear shot at that alien and the truck that the other alien is on behind is on is standing behind is on fire. So we're going to take that shot. No One less in the world. That. Probably this is not going to do me any good. Yeah. No favors for me on that front. As for Brody, he needs to be probably just guarding our butts. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Excellent. That alien has chosen death. That means that whatever this alien does next turn, he's going to die. Unfortunately, he made a pretty smart choice. Okay, so Mr. Moore is going to get kill credit for all three of these aliens, sadly. Which is kind of sad. But at least these ones would be dead. Poor Mr. Moore. Um, so now, 
we have all of the remaining groups of sectoids lined up in this pit. They refuse to get out of it because it is their personal favorite pit of death. Also, they don't have any method of getting out of it except for, oh, they may actually be able to climb up there. Still, I don't expect any problems if I just, um, well, let's push forward to here and reload. Back in. Then just get somebody up here. We'll keep an overwatch up. Aye, aye, Mr. Brody. We'll need a hugger down here. Aliens are pushing forward into somewhat marginal cover. I don't know if I care about them at all. Heading to that location. Hmm, that is notably less of a shot than I thought I would have. So looking at the massive amount of spiraling goodness that's going around here, we can tell that there's an alien here that we want to kill, some stuff we want to blow up, and this is just generally a good shot to take. Okay, damage dealt to the surrounding terrain and to the aliens themselves. And now that terrible shot is a really good one. means that Brody can push up to here my way. and take that other fairly good shot. I think we have this about knocked up, but there's always the chance that one of these sectoids will get a lucky shot off. Especially if they kill Brody, he's got my one remaining grenade. So what we want to do now is secure any position that will prevent them from actually shooting back. Aye, aye, Commander. Forty-five percent chance doesn't really look like much or feel like much. I think we'd much rather get all the way around the Pit of Death and force the aliens to push even further into it. Well, that mine will hunker down right here. Looks like our alien comrade has moved pretty bad position. I think the Brody might actually be able to get a flank from there. All right. Oh, no, wait, okay. No, actually, I'm terribly confused. Okay, one of the other aliens moved up next to him, so that it was not a complete flank. However, this is a flank. What's more, it's a really good one with a height advantage, so we're going to target the 
Yeah, that's the right alien to target. And if we kill him... Then this is just about wrapped up. Okay, so the alien can still retreat up in this direction, which is no good. I don't really like that very much. On the move. But we might be able to hold him down by hunkering over here. And I think it's actually time to jump into the pit. Now, the greatest risk I think here is if the alien runs up and tries to do something from here, but instead he's going to shoot at Brody. And that's not going to get him much in terms of useful shots. Uh, let's see here. So we still don't have the angle that we want on this alien. The angle that we want is in fact over here somewhere. Got it. Moving. So let's start pushing out towards that. Time. Let's see here. What have we got that looks like concealment? Yeah, this. This will be concealment. And it will be concealment that they can't get around. So this alien will have to take this shot, provided he takes any shot at all. Looks like instead he's bailing for better cover again. It's honestly a little frustrating. We saw him over here, so I think that this is probably still just a fine place to be. present no viable targets and force him to give us a flank. Alright, he finally gave us a flank, I think. There should be one right here. Oh gosh, I may not actually have the sight line for that. We'll see. Yes, I do have the sight line. 65% chance. That isn't my favorite flank ever, but it's better than nothing. about this lady. Can she do anything? Headed there now. Uh, once again, she can make that guy s sweat. So this is a kind of risky shot, seeing as if we miss it, that alien's got a 35% chance to hit back, but I think that's a dice roll that we want to take at this point. Alright. Now watch as he kills our red shirt. Eh, I just blew up some melt. We don't especially care about that since we had already lost it. Uh, push a little further forward. And take the shot. Again, not the kill that we're looking for. However, it looks like Brody can get the shot as well. In fact, he can guarantee it, so... Can he guarantee it? <laughs> no, Clark can guarantee it. So, we'll take the pistol shot with Brody first. Alright! And... Good. Not bad at all. Um, we got the engineers we wanted. We killed ten aliens, which is definitely good. Ah, yeah. No, all in all, that should uh, get our month shaping up really well. Support and a heavy, uh, both things that we desperately need. And we didn't get our sniper promotion yet, which is actually good, because the sniper's kind of a, a bit of dead weight until we have some other better classes available. 
I'm not saying that the sniper is not a good class, I'm just saying that his early game kind of sucks at the moment, so, and always kind of has. Alright, Moore gets credit for two kills, but it looks like Clark somehow got the third. Not sure how that happened. Uh, or maybe one of them already had the kill and then the last kill was unassigned because it was from beyond the grave! In any case, we have some experience on our rookies now, and our rookies are no longer just terrible. And looks like we've got the Urban Combat Batch available. Okay, so the workshop is now available. We will be first things first, commander. we want that workshop. I think we want it right here. That is literally all of our money, but uh, we're going to be okay with that. What it is the aliens are hoping to accomplish here. Are they studying us? Why abduct humans okay. seemingly at random? So we saw all of this must stuff. Be a pattern that we haven't established yet. Um, and I think we might want to build an access lift. I'm a little fuzzy on that one. Uh, we can probably wait. It's nice to have that space, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. I came up with a name for this one. Ah there, see? Don't panic. Um, yeah, I don't have a name for this one yet, but we'll come up with something eventually. In the meantime, we're going to assign it. I lost my defense. <laughs> honor of Werewolf Hernandez, who once dodged 11 aliens in one turn. Um, who do we want to put that on? I think the support. He's going to be the guy carrying the med kit, so he needs to be the guy who takes the least damage. Alright. Um, so, yes. Soldiers As the alien first. attacks have become more frequent, our casualty rate has climbed. Uh, our troop shortage is becoming a problem. We should start screening potential candidates at the barracks immediately. I will hire one more soldier, but that is that is all that I can spare in terms of monies, because there are things that I need to do with those monies. Speaking of which, China is in panic. South Africa is in panic. Ooh, I'm very glad that South Africa is in panic. Better that than any other country. Um, okay. Council report in 25 days. The workshop is already on its way, which is good. It's very, very important. So we're going to wait another four days. Have our weapon fragments available. Jumping straight to experimental warfare is extremely tempting, but Meldra Combination. This technology Everybody has wants to see what Meldra Combination does. I'm sure the science team is... Okay. So, scanning, scan, oh, okay. Nope, that's, that's actually the time when we need to go ahead and start doing our things. So visiting the Ray Market, we find that we have these flight computers and this UFO power source, both of which are very valuable. They are worth monies, and money buys happiness. More importantly, money buys satellites. 231. I am extremely tempted to sell more. Uh, how much do we need Illyrium right now? Not really a whole lot. 45, that's 59. 74. And one sectoid corpse will tear it. We now have four satellites on the way. If we can get a hold of some money, or if we can just sell all of our stuff for money, then we will be able to build something that will allow all of those satellites to be launched this month, which will save every country ever. Excavation complete. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from the Council. All right. On screen. The Council has a mission for us. That mission is worth $140, which means that it's absolutely critical to our current success. 
Uh, it is a bomb disposal mission, however. Okay. Bomb disposal missions are rough. And by rough, I mean rough. They're really, really difficult. Um, this could be... Uh, this is going to be a pretty serious deal for us. And uh, how, which mission it is, where it's at, and how many aliens we encounter is going to be pretty relevant in terms of what happens as a result of finding and disarming the bomb. However, that $148 is great, as is the panic reduction. Excellent. Looks like it's in Britain. I don't look really know why panic reduction progress. in Britain is important, but... Where is our assault? Wounded! Alright, well then. Um, that's interesting. Join me next time when we assault our council mission and dispose of some bombs. <laughs>